Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Good Times for All, or Zachary Zabala here if you prefer. In this video, we'll be taking a look at images NASA has presented as taken from space. Now I know, they are horrible at making videos, and so many mistakes have been pointed out countless numbers of times, but the one thing they are good at is the math it takes to reverse engineer a small model, and the possibilities governed by their physics, whether they are true or not. In these images found at NASA's website, we can see huge discrepancies in not only color, but the size of the land masses. Now I am in no way saying that the credence of these images holds water in any way, but instead, just ask the question, is it possible to recreate the size of the land masses changing so drastically in reality? What I found out when trying was very surprising to say the least. You can see in the video here that almost all of the Americas, both north and south, are visible in the frame. Alaska is the only part of North America not visible. As you can see, as I move the camera closer to the globe, less of the continents are visible and the ones that are have grown larger in angular size. All the while, the whole globe is still in frame. Now I have heard many flat earthers use this as an excuse for why they believe NASA is lying to us, and I understand completely why they would think this. In reality though, it is completely possible, if the globe model were correct, to take such images. My reason for making this video is only to share what I have learned, to make our argument stronger when speaking to others about NASA. There is more than enough out there to expose them with. Let's not give them any arguments for why others shouldn't listen to our claims. This is Good Times for All here signing out. As always, thanks for watching.